Hello everyone, thanks for checking out my video. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to use Awesome Miner and Mining Pool Hub to mine Z Classic. Let's get on with it. Okay, by this point, it's a little rinse and repeat. Download the Awesome Miner, I'll put a link in the description. Make sure you get the full installation, which is this program here, Awesome Miner Installer. Okay, download and install that. And then we'll go over to miningpoolhub.com. If you haven't signed up already, sign up with miningpoolhub.com. Choose a username that you'll remember that's easy to type in so that when we go to configure the miner, we'll be able to use that username, which will reference back to the pool. After you install Awesome Miner, then it presents you with the Miner Wizard. So on this window, we have an opportunity to add new miner. So we'll go ahead and click on Next. All right, and it gives us four choices. The choice we want is called Managed Profit Miner. All right, and this allows us to pick a certain profile for the equipment that we have. All right, and I'll show you that in just a minute. We'll click on Next. All right, and here we're just going to name our miner. We'll call it Miner 1. You can leave the host as local. And then here where it says Profit Switching Profile, just set this to whatever matches the equipment that you're using. So if you have an AMD GPU, use the AMD profile and then the same for NVIDIA, okay? Then click on next, all right? That will confirm everything is good. We'll click on finish. Okay, you see right here it says minor one. The next thing we'll need to do is add a pool for Z Classic, all right? So up at the top here, we'll click on new pool. All right, and this window is asking for a description, so we'll just call it Z Classic dash MPH. That way I know which pool I'm dealing with. And now it's asking for a server URL. Okay, so here is where we'll go back to miningpoolhub.com. All right, and on the main page here, on the left hand side, there's a whole list of different coins. All right, so we'll go down to where it says Z Classic, click on this. All right, and then on this main page here, you'll see that we have um, some server settings here, all right? And it's based on US, Europe, and Asia. So depending on where you are, just copy and paste the server address, okay? You can choose either um, .equihash or .zclassic. Um, both will do the same thing, okay? Um, if you have difficulty with one, then try using the other. All right, we'll go back over here to Awesome Miner and paste that into this server URL box. Okay, there we go. Make sure it includes the port number as well. Okay, now we have worker name, which is the username that you used on Mining Pool Hub. So mine is Goose Tech, and then you put a dot and the name of your worker. All right, the worker password is X, and then down here where it says coin, just set this to Z Classic. You want this to match whatever coin you're mining. That way, it will provide you accurate readouts for whatever profit you're making. When that's finished, click OK. Then we'll need to set our profit switching. So we'll go over here where it says Options. Click on Options. And then on the left-hand side, click on Profit Switching. Okay. You want to make sure the top one is enabled. So where it says enable managed profit switching, put a check mark here. And then down here where it says custom pools, put a check mark here. And if it's your first time, then the pool we just added will show up. If not, and you're like me, you have a bunch of pools. Well, just find the one that you just added. Okay. So here's the one Z classic dash MPH. All right. And then click on okay. Now, one last thing to do over here on Mining Pool Hub is to set up our wallet. Oh, excuse me. And so on the main page, we have a link here underneath my account called Wallet. So click on the Wallet link. All right, and this is where you'll see how much Z Classic you have mined. On the bottom left where it says Normal Wallet, this number is how much you have mined, okay? And I always recommend using an external wallet so that you're not storing all of your crypto online. It's more secure to transfer it offline. Um, while I'm not gonna give you any advice as far as which um, wallet to use, you can make that determination. Um, I always recommend using the wallet that comes with the coin, okay? So you can go to the website and download that. Um, 
Once you have a wallet address, then what you can do is copy your receive address and paste it right here where it says payment address. All right, and then underneath here, you can set an automatic payout threshold. What's nice about this feature is that once the wallet reaches that amount, it will automatically be transferred over to your offline wallet. All right, you put in your four digit pin and click update account. And that should be everything you need to do on mining pool hub. So we'll minimize this. We'll go over here to our miner and we're ready to start mining. So we'll just go ahead and click on start. And as you can see here, it began hashing. If we look back at awesome miner, we can see our hash rate as well as our profit per day. So I hope that you found this video helpful. If so, please give me a thumbs up and be sure to hit subscribe and ding the bell for future updates. More coins coming every day. So thanks again, guys. God bless.